Welcome back to Miss Side of 40. This is your girl Lou and tonight I want to share with you some of my eyeshadow palettes. I own 25 palettes. This will be a three-part series so um, let's get into it. We're going to start off with my smaller palettes and I'm actually going to go from price point so it's going to start off from the least expensive and work its way up. So I have LA Colors which is three dollars and I have two palettes from them. And this one, their, their shelf life for theirs is 36 months. And I have this one in brown tweed. And this one is all mattes. There is no shimmer. Um, it's a very neutral palette. So you could have this one to go with other palettes. And it looks like this. And you see I love that brown that's in there. Then this one is also LA Colors. And this one is in Barrett All. And Barrett All has two um, matte colors and two shimmers. And I pair that with the other one. And they both were a dollar. Then moving on, this one is called, um, this is by S Bys, B Y S Eyebrow Eyeshadow. And this is a neon palette. Now theirs only has a 12 month. Um, life and it was two dollars and these are all neons. I was kind of wanting to try some neons. I have played with it. I do like it And that one was two dollars then I have This one I got from a makeup blowout sale here in Arizona um, They have them from time to time. It came in a box. I think I got 40 items for $30 in that box and this was one of those items. And this is a shimmer, so I do put that with that new palette as well. Then the other item that came in that same box is this one. And I had that Rihanna um, palette that um, came out last Christmas. And this duped a lot of the colors in it. I ended up selling that palette and keeping this one. Just because it was just toppers and I was able to get the money I paid for the Rihanna palette, which was $50 back. And then my other small shadow palettes, and we're just going from cost point, um, BH Cosmetics. And this one was the B um, by Baby Beauty. It's like this. And you can see on the outside, it's been rubbed and loved. This one, as you can see, I've gone into some of the colors kind of heavily. It has um, quite a few shimmers and quite a few mattes. It has the browns I like in it, that neutral brown that's in there. Love it, love it, love it on my skin. Um, and this one was, um, I believe it was under $10 when I purchased it. And... The shelf life on this one is 24 months. I got it last year for Christmas. Then um, I got it. the It's My Ray Ray palette also from BH Cosmetics. And I got this with the brushes and I got it on sale at Christmas. And so it was like $29 for all three, I want to believe. Then moving on. Um... I got the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Eyeshadow palette. <coughs> I got this one off eBay, so it's not an authentic, um, or I don't know if it's authentic. And I did love on it as well. And this one has a 12 month life on it. Then moving up, and that one I, I believe I got it for ten dollars off of eBay. Now this one is the one palette I got from ColourPop and on the back of ColourPop this is is um, a cruelty free band brand. However ColourPop doesn't put on the back of theirs what their shelf life is so I couldn't tell you the shelf life on that and this is the one that you had me at Hello and it looks like this and I believe this was like 30 something dollars. Um, yeah. 
I thought it would be a bigger palette, like some of the larger BH Cosmetics palettes. However, or even as big as the It's My Ray Ray palette. However, no, it wasn't. Um, I haven't purchased nothing else from ColourPop since because of the price on that one. Then my most expensive small palette is this one by Mary Kay, and it's a purple one. When I got this palette, I thought it was going to be bigger, and the price point was $75, um, i.e. I don't shop with Mary Kay anymore. So there's that, and it's very much so pigmentated for the price point, and it doesn't have, it doesn't create a lot of fallout or any of that. That's not the issue for me. It's just the price point for Mary Kay. Um, I haven't purchased anything else. And also, I don't know the shelf life on this. So, that's it for my small palettes. Our next video will be on our larger palettes. Um, if you're interested in this series, please let me know if you'd like me to do a lipstick one after this. I thank you and stay tuned for the other two videos.